Hi guys, it's Mrs. Galvin. I am here to talk to you a little bit about drawing conclusions, which is something that we've actually been working on all this week. So all of the posters that I have assigned out to you this week, the monkeys jumping on the bed, the kids um, picking up the trash in the park, and then your last one, which was last Friday, it was flag day. In all of these posters, I've asked you to kind of tell me something that you figured out, like kind of what's going to happen next based off of the text or the picture. Uh, so all week, um, I've gotten some really great responses and you are already doing our next skill, which is drawing conclusions. Drawing conclusions is when we use clues in a text uh, and we use that to um, tell us what's going to happen next or what we think has already happened. This is very similar to making inferences, which you should be phenomenal at because that is a unit that we did in school. Um, drawing conclusions is very similar. We use um, clues or evidence in the text or in a picture like you did with some of the posters today. And then we also use prior knowledge, which is something, which is what we already know or we might have experience with. And we figure out what the author is not saying or not directly saying to us. Drawing conclusions helps readers make sense of the text. Um, it helps us make sense of the story. And it helps us really organize our thoughts and use that prior knowledge that we already have. I am also going to post a um, anchor poster for drawing conclusions. And for the next two weeks, we are going to be working on drawing conclusions from the stories that I assign you. And then we are going to have a bonus assignment where you can um, pick your own story, maybe a book that you have, or maybe something that you haven't read before. And, uh, or maybe something on Epic would be, I think, a really fun one to do. And you're going to kind of tell me what that is, tell me what that story is, and then draw your own conclusion. Uh, obviously for this assignment, it's gonna have to be something that you haven't read before, so that way you can draw those conclusions. Um, so kind of be thinking about that because that's going to be our final assignment. This is actually our last unit. So that's pretty exciting. So the next two weeks we'll be drawing conclusions. And then what's even more exciting, I think, is that we're going to move on to um, just kind of review. So we're going to review all of the units that we did, ones that we've done here during our distance learning, and then ones that we've also done uh, in school. So we're going to just kind of pick some random books from Benchmark and just kind of do a little bit of review for all those other ones. So to sum up for this video, drawing conclusions means that you are using clues in a text or in a picture, and then you're drawing prior knowledge to figure out what the author is not directly saying to you. It is super similar to making inferences. Uh, I believe like making inferences, I think I told you guys that I believe that that one is such a fun one, a fun one to do. And I think drawing conclusions is the same way because you get to make these predictions and you use clues and evidence in the story and then you use what you already know. So your prior knowledge to do all of this. So I want you to try and have lots and lots of fun with this unit and really celebrate that we've made it to our last unit. All right, guys, don't forget to refer back to this video if you are getting lost when you are doing the drawing conclusions assignment. And also, please, as always, refer back to the anchor charts, uh, the anchor posters that I'm posting on the class story because I want you to use them just like we would be using them in class. So I would always tell you before, if you're getting lost or have a question, to always look around the room for our references. So take a look at that class story for references on drawing conclusions. And also a really good reference that is already posted on the class story is details. We definitely wanna make sure that all of our writing includes lots and lots of details. You know I don't like it to be boring. Okay guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know. Bye guys.